greetings, sorry, Arturo Castro. Uh, I'm going to talk uh, a little bit about open frameworks, uh, Reactable, the project that I'm working on right now in Barcelona, and to finish about SIFT, uh, uh, performance, uh, dance performance I've been working, I think it's going on right now in, in Barcelona, when it's been going on like about an hour ago. And so, um, yeah, open frameworks. I, I, my, my background is in computer science. I studied computer science in, in Bilbao in Spain. And I began to work in the typical things that a computer engineer uh, work usually, and I got super bored like in two years or something like that. So I like uh, began. I discovered uh, Action Script, Flash, Processing, and I met Zach Lieberman in a in a workshop in Barcelona like four or five years ago. Uh, and well, that kind of changed my my life in a way. Like uh, I discovered all this kind of uh, stuff like processing and all. And uh, I began uh, collaborating with, with them, with Zach and Theo, uh, doing the, the Linux version of, of Open Frameworks. And like two years ago, uh, I started working at the, the Reactable. The Reactable is a, a project that I started in a university in Barcelona. So it was a research project. But they have lots of success, and they started a, a commercial company to 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 make it a, a commercial product. So let me see if I can make this. We have a little uh, Linux uh, yeah. connection <laughs> issue with. Uh, there we go. And if you want, Arturo, you can mm -hmm. open up the scene scene four in all the dark. So, wait, something. So, yeah, so the Reactable is a musical instrument that is based in these objects. So, each of these objects is a sound generator or a fit and effect. And the technology is based on a, a camera that goes behind the, the table <laughs> and detects the detects uh, some symbols that these, uh, these blocks have. And the technology for doing the detection is actually open source. You can download the program and use it for your own, for your own applications. So, yeah, this is actually a video from, from, the, from the old version, the version that they developed at the university. And we've been working during two years, uh, completely redoing all the software from scratch because it it was a, a like a research uh, um, application, a research uh, project. It wasn't really prepared to be a, a commercial product. So we've redone everything from scratch, and now it's more a little bit more complete. It's more like a, a real musical instrument. To to the reactable is an electronic musical instrument. So some of the things that we found is this kind of <coughs> configuration <coughs> panels that weren't there before, and. Some kind of gesture interface, so you can do gestures in several parts of the, of the table to get these panels and configure each piece. So now it's much more flexible, and, and each piece has much more like uh, options to to produce uh, music with it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So the. Um, well, I, I was telling that uh, we have like lots of yet new gestures. Uh, is there a microphone or something? No, you got yeah. either one or the other. You got to turn turn the sound down or, or uh, speak. I think. Okay. So okay, we'll stop this. Okay. Yeah. So the. The idea is that we added like lots of new gestures and all these kind of panels to be able to configure the the sound uh, the sound objects. Uh, we've been also redoing all, all the all the vision system. So because it wasn't really uh, very uh, like the, the performance of the whole vision system wasn't very good. So we've been redoing all the system. <coughs> And well, I'm going to show also this project I've been working on lately. Um, so, yeah, this is a project that I actually started uh, 
Gal McDonald is also here working with us, and if you, he has a, a great role. He's been developing a 3D scanner uh, using a like cloud technology, a projector, and a camera. And well, he actually told me if I wanted to to participate in this project. And the same day that that I started uh, working in, in the project, the the Kinect uh, got up. The Kinect is this device from Microsoft to play with uh, like uh, the Xbox, the the video game console. Uh, but it's also like a, an amazing technology because it's a, a 3D scanner and you can do like lots, lots of things with it. So we've been working with this this system. This is, I was going to install the software, but I don't know. I've been like doing developing the new version of Open Framework, so I I messed up all my code and now it's not working. So I'm just <laughs> going to show a video of the of some of the uh, rehearsals. So this is actually, the camera is getting the 3D information from the scene. Actually the image is a 3D model of the actress. And, and the, the sound from the, from that we are registering with a mic, it's, been, it's actually modifying the, the 3D mess, the 3D model. And well, I, I think, yeah, it can be seen how the, how the sound kind of affects the, super advanced, you can do really much more advanced things and much more interesting things with the Kinect. But we, we did, for example, this part where uh, the distance of the actress uh, determines like the, the type of rendering that is being used. So... She goes back, the, the kind of rendering changes. And even the, the same camera can be active, like it has a motor so you can uh, control the position. So detecting the depth of the, like what distance from the camera the actress is, it can, like the program automatically moves the camera to adapt and always get the, the, whole, the whole body of the, of the actress. Try again, see if I can solve the, the software. So I'm sure it was recompiling seconds before his lecture. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to, but my I did, did it. this semester with OFX Connect, which Arturo and others in this room, like Kyle and Theo, have been working on. Uh, and I'm happy to say that the 13 new Connects uh, that have been donated to our class just arrived yesterday. So we're, we'll be able to be playing with this technology for the first time uh, this spring. Excellent. Thank you, Arturo.